baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Yo, my name yeah. is Benjamin. Hi there, it's Edo. All you know me. It's Hunter. I'm excited to cover the Slideshow version 2.0. I'm going to show you the latest addition to the Framer insert menu, Pages. This page template will replace it and become our new homepage. CMS support for scroll sections. This new feature unlocks new use cases for both linking and scroll effects. We're extending our family of scroll and appear effects with hover, drag, loop, and press. And you can combine these to design all new interactions. If we go to the CMS for our project, you'll see there's new import action in the toolbar. So you can design websites that match the appearance settings of your device or operating system. In Framer, you simply design your color palette once, and then you can use it throughout your entire project. I'm excited to cover new properties that unlock new types of desktop navigations. How we've made adding search to your Framer site as easy as dropping in a component. And one of the best parts about site search is just how fast it is. I'm super excited to introduce relative overlays in Framer, one of my favorite Framer features, yet fit text. Our header now always occupies the available space and skills to fit on any device. The latest conditionals and transforms that we've added to Framer. They allow you to dynamically change your layouts based on different properties and content you have on your website. We've made it much simpler to filter your CMS content and we even added new filter types. Viewport support in components, the overscroll property allow you to design high quality mobile menus to prevent you from losing content. We added version history. And I want to show you a new workflow to import your existing sites in Framer, thanks to a brand new browser extension. Let's dive in. I'm very excited to show you website localization in Framer. We're introducing effects in components. Framer is one of the very first tools allowing you to design custom animations between pages. So let's dive right in.